My name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm still a targeted individual. Um, I'm making a uh, Celeste frozen pizza. How did I keep it frozen? The frozen pizza, you say? Well, I found this thing over here. Cool temps, uh, whatever, that they use to ship vaccine in. And this X vaccine box has some of those frozen you know, ethylene glycol, polyethylene glycol, uh, whatever they are, these things, these make them cold things, and you freeze them. Of course, I don't have anywhere to freeze them, so they were still frozen, but nonetheless, that's not my point. My point is that inside of these, these Mama Celeste uh, pizzas, there is... As you know, <clears throat> instant pizza can be made in the microwave. And what they want you to do if you're going to use a conventional oven is remove these discs, these microwave discs. Now, what are these microwave discs, you may ask? Well, uh, my research has led me to understand that these cardboard pieces or paper pieces have been treated with the material, which is this gray uh, reflected material. This side is white, and this side is gray, sort of silvery gray reflective material. And this material here, whatever this is, it's called a susceptor, a microwave susceptor. You can look it up, there's patents. Why is it called a susceptor? Well, because it's susceptible to microwaves, and they you calculate the frequency of the microwaves that the stove is putting out, one point something megahertz, makes water boil, and these things uh, reflect the microwaves or turn them into heat through friction of molecular action, excitation of the molecules rubbing against each other and turns hot and cooks your pizza. But my question is, all right, well, if we have these microwave susceptors, what happens if you... Make a helmet out of it. Now see the test for me is when I push on my temples the high frequency gets louder. And if I move my jaw the high frequency gets louder. But sometimes when I press aluminum or magnets against my head really hard it makes the quote-unquote tinnitus go away. Now, people with real tinnitus, when they put metal or magnets next to their head, does it go away? No. So it's not tinnitus, brothers and sisters. It is material, nanocrystalline technology, tuned to a particular frequency, quantum dots. They can put them inside of you, drink them in a glass of water, never know they're there, into every pore in your skin, circulate in your bloodstream, go into your brain, everywhere. And something you have and something you are is two-step authentication. Look it up. Something you have and something you are. So, combining those two numbers gives an individual unique identifier for every human being targeted with this material. Now, it may not work on standard microwave uh, you know, it has the ability to go through metal, to go through wood, to go through subways, to go through underground, to go through giant metal boxes, to go through big, uh, you know, skyscraper buildings. So, we're talking about possibly scalar waves or ultra, ultra high frequency microwaves in the terahertz range, which approach X rays, gamma rays. Up above that, what's above gamma rays? Does anyone know? They're not telling. Anyway, my thought of the day, microwave susceptors, tuned to the right frequency, just may be able to block the microwave voiced skull. Try it. Maybe if you collected enough of these. <laughs> See, I don't know. I'm just guessing. It's some kind of ceramic, uh, ferro... I don't know. You gotta look it up. I looked it up. I don't remember. I got, uh, more Gellensheimers. Anyway, that's my story, and uh, I'm sticking to it. God bless you. Thanks for watching. 
Wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs>